and Tanwa Bada villages and community leaders will be presenting a petition to NCDC protesting for the city manager to verify the health and safety hazards that is instigated by the current road construction. Spokesperson and head teacher of Hagara Elementary School, Karen Rea, reiterated that since the beginning of the road development, many children have been exposed to very serious health hazards. She claimed that many chemicals being used by the contractors have proved to be very risky to young children, adding that the closest classrooms to the road are that of the elementary students. Ms. Rea noted that the petition will set conditions for the commission to state what avenues they will be taking to address the health hazards. You know, all, the, all the parents um, uh, come to the, the, the school grounds and we're going to petition NCDC and, after, uh, and, and we're going to do a protest as well. And um, if that doesn't work, and we're taking the matter up to the courts. Villages living nearby have also been affected by this hazard, spokesperson Charlie Vani told of his ordeal. We've been experiencing uh, uh, breathing problems, especially not, not only the kids we have uh, in the house, but uh, as adults too. Uh, we're having uh, breathing problems. The dust is unbearable. Um, like my two-year-old kid, we have to take her to the hospital every two weeks and it is becoming a concern. This is not the first time for these villages to raise their concerns. Imelda Wavik, TV1 News.